This little guy right here is the iFro P20 portable mini SSD and with this iFro is pushing portable SSDs in a whole new niche. This 14 grams drive is tiny. The P20 is a super compact solid state drive built around the silicone motion SM2320 controller. It's a single chip design that combines the USB bridge and the SSD controller for higher efficiency, lower heat and stable high speeds. And despite weighing as much as only a couple of coins, it is actually rated for up to 1000 megabytes of read and write speeds, which is definitely plenty for mobile editing, mobile recording, fast backups and even external game libraries. And the big hook for creators though is the direct ProRes recording. Just plug it into an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max or newer and then you can capture 4K with high frame rates in the ProRes video format that takes huge amounts of storage and you can record it straight onto the P20 instead of completely filling up your internal storage. This featherweight SSD is made for real world shooting scenarios, for fast transfers and most of all for EDC for everyday carry. So yeah, looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. Got the new drip from iFro, the P20 mini portable SSD. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you here now. Let's check it out. Here we have the box. It's one terabyte variant with this on the side, the brand on this side. And then here we have all the small print, as you can see, very nice specs and the logo right there. And not to forget all the small print on the back. So let's remove these seals and let's open it up. So we have the paperwork on top and then in here, an incredibly tiny SSD and also these adapters, USB-C and also the lightning. The box is now empty, so let's move on. Right Right away. Here we have the mentioned adapters. So USB-C and Lightning. Very nice build quality with the brand logo right there. And these will basically also act as an angle right there. So without it, you can simply plug it into the phone. But with the angle converter, it's actually plugged in like that. And we will check it out in a bit in more detail, of course. Great to have. We also have the paperwork. So right there, one, two, let's go. Three right here. And that's it. So neat detailed paperwork and the SSD itself, check that out. It also comes, actually, first of all, we need to remove this. So right here, we also get a little strap with a loop, a little bit springy, really nice quality. And then also this rubber safety case right there, basically really nice. It's a soft silicone, feels great in the hand and it will protect the actual metal housing of the SSD very nicely. It's a very nice, protective sleeve that even covers up the USB-C plug. I love that. So to recap, the angle converters, the strap, the sleeve and the paperwork. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. Now look at this absolutely tiny thing right there. It's so light, it's so small, just incredible. The build quality is superb. So yeah, let's take a close look. So right there, that's the front side. We have this on the side with the little cutout for putting through the strap. We have the certifications on this side, then the serial number. This is number 20 right here, that's awesome. And also a really cool looking bottom side right there. And of course on this side, the USB-C plug right there. So I will put it together with the sleeve, boom, we can cover it up and now also putting through the little string. So now we have the strap back in place, way easier for not losing it. And now we're ready for testing. Not bad, right? So let's finally test it. Of course, all the newest devices are supporting the USB-C standard, but even if you're using an older iPhone that is still using the lightning port, you can still make use of this with the adapter. So it just plugs in. And as you can see, even with a case, you can easily use this. Boom, plugs right in, works with lightning, no problem whatsoever. Look at this form factor, super small footprint, looks absolutely awesome. And we can see the SSD right there, P20, that's an iPhone 11, by the way. It's currently empty, so even all the devices are recognizing this without any issues, but of course, 
so it's gone. This makes even more sense with the newer models that can really utilize this, so let's go. Goes without saying that you can use this SSD for any device. It's like a supercharged USB stick on steroids. So first of all, let's test it on the 40G USB-C slot on my computer right there. We have it right there. Let's check out the properties. So 953 gigs of free space. And now let's grab the unboxing and move it over here here and check this out four gigs in a matter of like 10 seconds i will do this again to see if we hit some thermal throttling we get a speed of 650 megabytes per second of write speed and when we copy this to the computer check this what what again let's replace that that was like one second. So not only do we get incredibly fast write speeds straight onto the device, but the read speeds are ridiculous, absolutely crazy. Copying the files on the device itself. So here we get a write speed of 700 megabytes per second without any bottleneck. And there is no thermal throttling whatsoever. Again, all of that total of 20 gigs over here. Check that out. Now that's, wow, that's over, over eight gigabyte per second. That was 20 gigs moved over there, literally in a matter of seconds. I guess you get the point. This little guy right there is really, really fast. Let's try it out with this laptop. It literally has a size of a small USB stick. So as you can see, well, the files are showing up and there is also one right there. And of course, same as before, we can move them to the desktop really fast. So that's more like a test for the laptop. It can only write at 300 megabytes per second. So this laptop is, well, a bit slow. It cannot utilize the full insane speeds that this will provide, but I guess you get the point. And now let's move on to an iPhone 15 Pro. Now that's a really thick case. We can barely get it in here. It will look like that. It is already getting recognized. But first, I also want to test out the adapter. So we can also use it like this. Maybe there is even a use case where it would make sense to put it in front of it. So it's maybe if you have some sort of a rig going, no. So a ridiculous case like that will have to come off. Now, just like that, we can use the adapter, boom plugs in here the phone with the adapter and now with the drive looks like that looks absolutely premium fits the overall design very well great fit for the iphone or a apple ecosystem and again when we go to the files and click here on back we can see the p20 right there we can see all the well the clips on it right now which would be the unboxing and that's a 4k video right there and as you can see you can scrub through the timeline like it's nothing no lags no hiccups whatsoever goes to show that you can easily edit off the ssd as well again the timeline scrubbing it's the smoothest i've ever experienced and better yet, when we open up the camera, well, actually, first of all, we need to enable ProRes inside of the settings. So right there, we can activate Apple ProRes with the encoding, even in log, right? Now, when we go back, we have it up there. We can record a max of 144 minutes. And down here, it says USB-C. And check this out. When I activate it, you will get a very flat image that's awesome for high dynamic range and especially for color grading. With this, you can literally turn your phone in a professional cinema camera, but instead of huge SSDs that you can slide in, you just have a little one right there and we have 4K, 60 FPS, for example. And now when we grab a video, check that out. It's not only super smooth, but you can also without any hiccups record straight onto the drive. Well, it's actually an SSD. When we go back, we can see that a new folder was created with the 100 Apple and just a few seconds created a file that's almost two gigs in size. And we have it right there and smooth playback, incredible. Without this on the back, you would fill up your iPhone capacity in a matter of minutes. It's crazy. So if you really want to utilize the ProRes format, which is actually amazing, then there is no way around an external SSD such as the P20 and it's the best I've ever seen. So absolutely massive thumbs up from my side. Epic looks, epic performance and all of that in such a compact footprint. 
So as you saw, excellent build quality as well as hardware with a really small, neat design and all those features and capabilities for such an incredible price point. Just wow, it is so much better than the competition in all regards, especially in this price segment. Top tier value right here. iFro always brings amazing value to the table with great looking devices and a top of the line ecosystem. And especially if you're a mobile creator or iPhone filmmaker or an on the go editor, the P20 is clearly built with you in mind. It's 14 grams ultra slim design literally disappears in a pocket or on a rig while the hardware architecture delivers snappy sustained speeds without bulky enclosures or extra power bricks. It's exactly what you want, what you need when you're dumping big files on the go. And especially paired up with an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max or a newer model, it unlocks the full capabilities, namely recording ProRes straight to the device at max resolution as well as max frame rates, letting your phone treat like a real cinema camera and the P20 as your swap and go media card. So if your current workflow is literally constantly deleting clips, juggling SD cards or waiting on slow drives, this little guy right here, this little SSD might be the simplest but most worthwhile upgrade that you can make. You will get more space, a faster setup, easier handling, better heat management and a setup that just truly stays portable. And that's of course a definitely drippy. So check out all the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. And that's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.